Happy Saturday, everybody. How's everybody doing? Loki's here. He says hello. Hi, Papa. Aw, hey, it's moon. So last time we had some issues both getting to Dirty Colossus and some issues with Man Eaters. I think we probably need to upgrade our sword again. Which means we should stop by Stonefang 2 do some boring boring junk that I don't really like having on stream but yeah gives us a, a chance to chat and warm up and Hello stuff again. like that I'm keeping a close watch on you so what do we got we have one dragonstone chunk which means I need two more and I need shards. Yeah. You have a heart of gold. So what kind of new stuff have you guys been thinking about? Uh, how is everybody doing? What are you considering, thinking about, doing? Hey, Clem Hazard. What's going on? And then, if all goes well, We'll start knocking off our demons. And then we'll finish off Bulletaria. I don't know why I like to save Tower Knight for the end game, but because, like, you can go straight through to Tower Knight first if you wanted to. What's up? How's your Saturday doing? We're going the wrong way. I need to go kill some bugbears in the labyrinth. I also have to go back to the armored spider. Arkstone. Because my secondary character, who is uh, strength focused at the moment, has already gone through Phalanx, Armored Spider, and Adjudicator. And her file's only like three hours long. And, um,. And, um, oh, right. And I did find the piece of officials' equipment that I need for Yuria. So we'll have to go by and pick that up. on the Providential Wing.
Oh! Right, I forgot. Thank you, Hazard. I've disabled this <laughs> disabled the mode. That was actually really good because I got it immediately when you <laughs> when you put it there. <sighs> Sorry about that guys. There's been some stuff at Twitch lately, and, uh, I put that up to protect the channel while I was away. Ah, where does the providential ring go? Okay, there we go. give a, a bunch of souls. rather than later. I need chunks, like two more. Yes, that's the PS2 version too. Oh, that sounded familiar. There should also be a Dragonstone pure around here. I know I didn't come through here and fight much the first time. Yeah, but that, that all sounded familiar. Blige sounded actually new. new stuff about like Shard, shard, shards. Need chunks. Oh, yeah. Oh, Frank is basically mini Aldia. Although, Aldia, mini Aldia could be mini Aldia, because mini Aldia is adorable. Hey, Vision. What's going on? Let me 
just meandering about looking for some come on trigger I'm like right on top of you when you're triggering Jeepers. what's going on Vision? we're looking for some dragonstone stuff to upgrade our weaponry I love Mini Aldia. Mini Aldia is the best. <laughs> hey, Meglin. How's it going? Okay. Ooh, what are you playing, Meglin? That's a game I've been meaning to get my paws on. Meglin's has been playing and streaming this go. <laughs> it's not that I procrastinate on getting new games, it's just that Time just slips away. Oh, I bet the pure dragon here. my dragon stone my dragon weapon um gash flame resistance All right i don't have the burrow or stuff with me I bet this is nothing. I super bet this is nothing. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm s lucky. Look at that magic pixel. <laughs> Three shards, two chunks. I need one more chunk, and then I should be able to get four. It's a pretty warm bath. Gimme, gimme. There's the pure. So if I get enough chunks and um, shards, I can get out to five. doing? Why are you running away? I wonder what he 
drops. Shards. No more. Okay, so we've got a couple of chunks. We only need like one more chunk. Maybe. And I forget whether the filthy man on the second floor sells chunks. Hey, Venetia, what's going on? Working on gathering some stuff up for... Swords. Got the pure... Now all I think I need are the really chunks. <laughs> what you get? Okay, Maglin, what kind of candy did you get from our fair shores? It's kind of a joke in America. I like it. I'm a weirdo, but I, I like candy corn. Go hit up the uh, the merchant. Oh, hello! You have to make a deal. Fear shard, no chunks. I've got six already. Oh, well, all right then. All right, next thing I gotta do, since I'm up here already, 
is I'm gonna go tag the uh, armored spider arc stone and go get that bit that I'm missing from my official gear. It's been <laughs> Dark Souls. My my playthroughs of Dark Souls Three have been forever ago now. It feels like. I'll come for you guys later, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <sighs> so, since I had the wrong chat mode up, let me ask again, how was everybody's Saturday's going so far. Not bad. Gave the dog his medicine. Um. Worked on this and that. Loki! For those who, who are only, you know, touch joining me on YouTube and may not know, my dog had a health scare this weekend. I mean, this week. Had to bring him to the 24-hour hospital. Turns out he's got a little infection in his in his GI tract, and he's got a heart murmur. Um, so he's on like four meds to get him to get better. And uh, he's doing a lot better. His appetite still hasn't come back yet, really. But he's being nosy and walking around and even running on occasion <laughs> bouncing around because he's excited to see me and stuff like that way better than the other day yeah he's basically on doggy eloquence for the rest of his life now Which reminds me, I've got to, like, purchase some of his meds.
missed that the first time because I was I didn't realize he had the leggings. But now he have we have leggings. So that's one check mark off. My secondary character like killed him because she's a strength build for right now. <clears throat> Whereas this build is essentially a value pack. So let's go see if we can't... one in storage. Hmm. Ooh, what are you thinking about with Nashandra and her sisters? Dragon Longsword is a plus four. We'll try. All done. Let be gone. I don't want to sit here and farm for chunks, though. Eh. So we'll we'll try things in the Valley of Defilement now. That we're <clears throat> upgraded a level. My next level. Right. Well, we've long been. That's it. Three. So one thing we should probably talk about is the arc stones themselves. Because with the added fidelity, we can actually see what's going on. The story on each of the arc stones. Now, Bulletaria is fairly standard. You have the doves for peace on the left, you've got the cross on the right, and you've got what's more interesting, which is the people at the bottom, which is a knight, and I'm not quite sure if that's a knight or just a warrior of some sort. Pretty standard. The interesting stuff starts with Stonefang, where you see Ed up top, and at the bottom we have robed and hooded blacksmiths at the fires. It's pretty faithful. Hazard. Um, the bottom is definitely beakers, um, sextants, with bearded men at the bottom. And, uh, the queen is holding the dark soul. I mean... <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, uh, so... The giants... Now, I've talked a bit about the giants in Dark Soul... In, from Software Canon before. That there's all, There always seems to be a giant 
thing. But the bottom is pretty interesting, and I guess that's why it's still here. In that, um, it looks very similar to Boletaria. Very mirrored to Boletaria. He also has knights at the bottom, and his, uh, the backs of his palms have suns. At the bottom here is a funeral pyre, which is very interesting. Um, this is essentially a funeral pyre. Fire, a guy wrapped in, in wrappings. The other thing is, we never really talk about the chieftain or the shadow man. But he's obviously a skeleton. Well, he's skeletal. He's not a skeleton. But he's still got a nose. His fingers are very skeletal. And he's got his Book of Psalms, which suggests how faithful Shrine of Storms was as a place for sky burials and death and stuff like that. Speaking of people we never see in this game, not even Latria can say that because the Fool's Idol looks exactly like the Queen. But we never talk about the Chieftain. We never see him. He's never there. Um, because Estrella colonized the area and probably destroyed him herself. But the Chieftain's got his uh, plague mask on. But at the bottom, we have hooded figures which are handcuffed together doing their power stance in front of you, which is very interesting. So that's extremely interesting to think about. Let's see if we can't make that run to uh, Dirty Colossus again. Hey Hunter, how's it going? Venetia, it's very similar to how Blight Town is set up, set up. At the bottom. Deaths as a treat. Hopefully we'll make some progress today. I've upgraded my dragon longsword. So hopefully we'll have the numbers. To get through here. I say that, but we only really came into contact with Dirty Colossus once, and I had some bad RNG and couldn't get set up. To fight him correctly. The hard part is always getting through these levels to get to the bosses.
Yeah, I was talking about the first time we came through here. I, like, I'm happy, but I'm also kind of sad that I don't hear the shh, 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 shh every, like, two seconds. The mosquitoes are absolutely gnarly in this version. It died. <laughs> Yeah, probably something in the party cave of the rafters. Yeah, the the Foley guy had entirely too much time on his hands in this version. Everything screams. And, you know, I'm in, I'm in spirit form. I shouldn't be making all this noise, but I still make a lot of noise. trying to decide whether I want to try and go up to the MLS right now or do I want to try and get through here and get to Dirty Colossus. Um, consider that the AI follows for a lot longer in this game. So, if you're used to, like, things disengaging for then, like, you are probably in for a, a weird surprise. Because in this game, the AI follows for a lot longer. So 
while we're here, let's talk about the MLS. The MLS is in every FromSoft game, we know this. The MLS in this game, however... ...is the property of one... ...Knight Vito. And Vito... ...is a Faith Bear Warrior. And Vito is also... ...Dirty Colossus. You see, just like the wielder of the Israel, the Vito was sent here to go bring back Astraya. He instead found all the people that that she had already changed. And they killed him. Well, didn't really quote-unquote kill him. Brought him to her where she transmorgified him into the Dirty Colossus. Is Big Guy on the rafters still? Sounds like he's on the rafter still. Ah, oh, yeah, he's still here. Mosquitoes. I was through. Yes, yes. In that section, you start getting the shaman, and uh, they drop some pretty nasty diseases on them. They don't practice social distancing at all. Social distancing is not a thing here. But now I think we can probably go grab the MLS.
I missed the explanation points. Now it's just goals. I hate that apparently it doesn't register that you are out of the poison fast enough. Version, it knows you are out of the poison quite a bit quicker than this version does. Like the bookmarking in this one is a lot slower. I noticed that when it started bookmarking where my souls were, a lot further away than when I like last was standing. It's very weird. Anyway, I, start, I just started blasting. Yeah, hell yeah, got him. Oh, I only had one? Really? So close. Yeah, the this push kick command is very sensitive.
Like, the thief ring is definitely not the... Not what we expect anymore, either. I wonder if that's a thing about the... AI being a bit different. Many grunts. It gets annoying after a time. That could be true, Venetia, that the 3D rendering space is a bit different. Everything looks amazing. I will indeed give it that. I wonder if I can just abuse the AI in this for this encounter. They're just slugs, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. I've got plenty of spice. Yeah, it's no casket. Or ball of human sorcerers. You know, they're just slugs. It's totally a Dune reference, BT Dub. If you want to see everything, you let the spice flow. They're just thriving in their lane. Oh, I'm so looking forward to to June. You have like no idea. Unfortunately, I'm not watching it in theaters. Because while my state is fairly vaccinated, my city isn't.
This is legendary. It's a pretty good note. They're just slugs. And it's like the sword and the stone. So... You're basically being Ar Arthur, I mean Arthur, with uh, the MLS. And the MLS is super... It's funny though, because the MLS is way more uh, important in Kingsfield than it ever will be in Dark Souls. A legendary large sword that shines with moonlight, strongly associated with the Moonlight Knight Vito, one of the few remaining relics of God. I wonder if they mean uh, now Toshizin Zin with that, that line. The blue crystal blade is composed entirely of light, making it impossible to block with a shield. It's me. I'm that person who will always retrieve their souls. Gyra never did anything wrong, so, like, you're right. Let's talk to the filthy woman. Would you? she have here? She's got the mace. She's got the war pick because she has all the faith starting weapons. Rotten arrows. Faith, 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 faith. The murden armor, which is faith. Preservation grains, that's new. Nothing for you, you wretched pirate. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please buy more. Finished already? I only want my dear boy to be happy. Okay, so there is a lot of things to like collect in this like village of slime. So now that we've lost those those jerkwads, we're gonna try and collect things.
we'll actually up open the, uh, if we're lucky, maybe we'll open the, um, the shortcut. The shortcut, I think, is sometimes harder to get to than just going to the boss. So that guy, glowing in plague and postulance, he's a shaman. He casts rotten spells. Nope, can't reach him. A stink boy, if you will, indeed. Those guys are actually the most dangerous bit, because they, if they catch you with their cloud, you will probably die. Incredible next gen pathing, indeed. That's his, uh, spell. Where are all these jerkwads coming from? a new item. So let's see here. I feel like I'm playing Deliverance whenever I come through here. The spice must flow. That's much better.
didn't need that. So flame is way better, obviously. Uh, but it's harder to harder to get to. Stone is your upgrade item for your faith based weapons. Are you serious? Why do you make why do you hit me for so much damage, you jerk? It's actually the same attack as the bone wheels. Oh yeah, I'm so far in the future, I've got a PS9, by the way. It's like, it comes in a small sphere, and it's nanomachines, son, so like it goes up your nose. It's basically cocaine. Anybody remembers that commercial, you're just as old as I am. There was a commercial, I think, when the PS3 came out, that showed the future of PlayStation and it showed the PS9. It was a sphere with nano machines, it was basically cocaine. Oh my gosh! Make it happen, Sony! Me and Ko, in line already for the PS9.
Tanisha, can you re repost that first part of your uh, your message? I guess it's the same reason why, like, faith-based missions don't work in real life. I think Astraya obviously wanted to, but she realized that her faith didn't, actually. Which probably keyed off her, her disillusionment. Yeah, it smells like garbage. One of the new things on the PS5 is that you can smell things. Christ. I'll just use some of the jelly, I guess. See, like, in the remake, they've put in books. So they're reading and stuff. There's lots of books hanging around here. This is their city. How to pick up- obviously. I mean, what else is there? It's definitely a copy of how to pick up fair maidens. Is there, like, another book? Come on, are you serious? He took me by surprise until like he was already in his stupid bone wheel attack. Oh man, Loveless is so good. No, you cannot roll in in slime. Because uh it will show that you're like you can't roll. Well, No, you can't roll in- you can't roll. You get that when you try to roll. Mm. 
There is a ring now that you can get, but it requires Black Tendency Latria. Um, that'll allow you to roll in here. But there's a couple of events I wanted to do in white, so we're not Black Tendency in Latria. That will make me heavy roll. Oh, Havel cheese. That's nice. I could get a better shield. I could upgrade the shield a little bit. I'll do what I want.
pain. It's, it is kind of really tedious. If you're playing this straight, it's very tedious. And the boss area is right over there. But you have to follow the blood on the rafters. Yeah, there's a shaman set around here. Um, I'm used to not worrying about it because it used to be men only. Goodness gracious.
There's a stink boy up there. Yeah, for now. If we can hit the the um, shortcut, that's a fine way to go. Some progress. Hooray. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. It's very satisfying, but I'm not used to doing it. But everything's so much more aggressive now that I should uh, revisit some of my old strategies. We can see Stinky up there. I think that's the the shaman stuff. We'll go back for some of the random other stuff once we beat the boss.
If we beat the boss. And if you're ever lost, just follow the blood. The blood will show you the way. And here's the boss. I have very little... Dirty Colossus has a slapping theme, I will tell you. And here we are. Another tier two boss done. Let's take a look around. So Dirty Colossus is Vito, like we like we mentioned earlier. Well, Venetia, it's not like you're eating you're eating you're eating the grass, but it's not the grass that is healing you. It's the water inside the grass. So as the grasses get more waterlogged, which, you know, is shown in the dark moon grass, how it gets more like waterlogged. The more water there is in it, which is why it heals you more. It's not because you're eating a salad. It's the, the water in the salad. Anyway, so uh, as we deduced earlier, Vito is Dirty Colossus. Um, he, like the wielder of the Istarael, um, was transmorgified by Astraea. Because by the time they were sent to go find their erstwhile saint, mind you, the sixth in her line, which means she's fairly important. Urbane is not the sixth. Um, she was fairly important, so they sent them to go find her because she probably went incommunicado. But by then, she has already told everybody here that she can get rid of their pain. She can comfort them if only she let them lobotomize them, essentially. And they took her up on it, because what kind of hope is there down here? And you could probably see all of the individuals who did not want to get their soul, or their, not so much their soul, but their free will ripped away from them. And they got turned into human torches. Or crucified up there. But because the faith based individuals were fairly powerful with their soul, they got transmorgified into demons to serve Australia.
there's a fairly logical and complete tragedy going on here. And the tragedy didn't really have to happen. Maybe Astraeus realized that, you know, there is no difference between who they thought of as God and who they think of as the soul. I mean, as science. And she, like, lost it. Decided to become God herself, in a way. Or she got disillusioned with things as she saw how they were you know, not pleased. Am I pure white in Valley now? Yes, which means I have to go back through Valley 1 and pick up the Istarel. First, let's drop off some important oh, stuff. I was worried sick. We have to buy a whole bunch of arrows. Thomas always believed in me, but he is a bad father. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not excusing Urbane at all. We talked about this last time when we when we um, rescued Urbane, but Urbane is revealed to be greedy by implication. Patches is not creative. Patches is a great many things, but he's not creative. Patches does the same trick every time for five different games. Urbane fell for that trick. So Urbane was looking for that shiny too. He was greedy. And you can see it here. He's like covered in food and apples. And this altar, which I think is new, has, is covered in precious gems. Dude is greedy. Urbane is blinded in a way only scientists are because the wizard crew are basically stand-ins for science. And we we already spoke a lot about the elitism and the um, gatekeeping in that's endemic in academia. And Freak is, you know, number one at all that. He's also covered in his books and stuff. Is he greedy? Probably. But more he falls for the sin of pride. I mean, the Soul Society would kill him too, and they do, if you follow that route. Because the Soul Society are that fraternity. Let's level up. Oh, she's not talking. Well, okay. Okay, I've got four four levels in me. Tech power is not going up at all. Fairly quality build. It's a it's general utility build.
Yeah, Monumental... I don't have... Ru Monumental is suspect, too. If only because of how they respond to you when you... Um... Say no. No to them. They essentially tell you... <laughs> They laugh in your face and essentially tell you you've got no choice. Huh. Well, maybe it'll load her voice when I go commit suicide. We do have to go buy a whole bunch of arrows. Only because there is a trophy for beating Astraya and it means not fighting Garl Vinland. And I want to get that done sooner rather than later. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch Wait, where are thou? Don't worry about it. Gosh, how many arrows am I going to have to buy, though? the maiden in black. We call her the maiden in black because everybody else thinks she's a maiden in black. Well, what if she's actually a maid? A madame in black. And that her child is the old one. Hmm? Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. Alright, let's take some things out. We're gonna have to... Grab the compound longbow. <sighs> ah, trees. My favorite subject, apparently. <laughs> Throw the Murden hammer away. That away. Oh, do I want to fight her now? We could go around fighting uh, man eaters. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. Yeah, <laughs> from soft is right up front with its weird trees. It's like, hey, here's your weird trees. I need to buy more grass. <laughs> Second chance. Don't blow it, mister. That's right, please. That's right. Right, let's buy some grasses. <clears throat> hey, Dark Three is like trees are people, too. I can grab 21 there, 17 there, 50 there. Nice stuff, eh? Come again then. No. I'll be awaiting. There is no sixth art stone. 
Okay, what am I what do I need? Dirty cloths is beast out. Um sleeves. Man eaters as the re the last tier two boss in the normal the other arc stones. Shadow Tower Abyss, the whole game takes place inside a tree that's upside down growing, and also a spaceship. That's the most from software <laughs> sentence I can I can even utter. I also want to go exploring the rest of uh, Valley of Defilement, because there's a lot of really good items. But right now I want to concentrate on clearing the rest of... Oh yeah, and pure white. Wait, am I pure white? Oh, shoot. No. We'll, we'll deal with that. Somebody remind me to go get the Isterel. When I'm done here. Bex and Latria, that's right. We're back here again. Latria 2 is my favorite level, but least favorite boss. My favorite boss... I think I mentioned it. Old Hero's pretty good. Um, Fool's Idol's kind of nothing. Flame Lurker. Flame Lurker is like one of the only like straight up boss fights in this game. Yeah, the friends we made along the way. It's always evergreen, evergreen answer.
time's up. It's mostly it's mostly water. Maglin. Maglin asks if the soul is water and soul is fire in dark is earth and air the soul in other from soft games and the answer is no. Not really. It's mostly water all the way down. Um that goes all the way back to Kingsfield. Like, the only time they've actually changed is, is for Dark Souls, and Dark Souls almost was water, also. If you can believe that. Well, blood, so, kinda, yeah. I think the fact that it almost was water is probably why Aldrich is thinking uh, the Age of Deep Water is in Dark 3. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. It's all water all the way down. I still feel like I beat man eaters with luck. rushing to try to kill him.
there's something I can punish, demon. Where the heck are you going? I'm just gonna die tired. I'm not going over there. You come over here. Gen game, you guys.
Yeah, it's using the same code base. Most of that fight is just waiting for man eaters to sh sit their butts back down. <laughs> Alright, I know there's a, an item. Yeah, if this was a speedrun, I would be screwed. It's a good thing I'm not a <laughs> speedrunner. <laughs> Hey, Patches. The soul of Dirty Colossus Demon, a source of great power. And the soul of Leechmonger, a source of great power. And the soul of Maneater, a source of great power. Maneaters is a pair of twins. They're human chimera together by... The old monk, his, uh... I was worried sick. His masterpiece of human abominations. Chuck that in there. And they're tragic, too, because, like, this is what science can can rot. It turns all of these low-level soldiers into gargoyles. It turns two twins into a single living, breathing man-eater. Human chimera together with different sorts of we things. Are indebted to you. And, uh... Yeah, this game doesn't, this game says very plainly, because each of these fields are full of demons, that each of these fields are, in the end, one and the same, corrupted and taken advantage of, one and the same. Doesn't matter if they believe in science, it doesn't believe, matter if you believe in, like, God. It doesn't matter which kind of God you believe in, or goddess, and it doesn't matter if you are the king of a dutiful field. In the end, no one is without sin, and the demons can come and smack, smack their lips as much as they darn well feel like it. Yeah, and some of us delight in sin. You know what, Venusia? I'll do you one better. The first sin was ascribing the name God to entities you don't understand. Does the old one know or care whether it's God or not? Probably not. We need to go buy some arrows. I like how I, I go through these like really deep discussions and then I'm like, I need to go buy some arrows. And then we need to go do some white world events because we are white tendency everywhere but Bulletaria. Hello. 
Because I'm going for trophies. <laughs> it's, I'm going for trophies, and I would like to do these once. I still gave you some souls, Blige. Leave me alone. I think... I think Satsuki's up, so I need to go grab the Makoto. Oh, that was what he'd say. Yeah, the, the visuals are pretty. I have to tell them that. Visuals are pretty. Unfortunately, there's a huge he butt in there. To you. Let's see if Satsuki's up. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Nisha. Basically like that. I looked for meaning, and I found none. Oh, I don't have my my thing anymore. It doesn't matter. Let's talk to Satsuki. Hey, you over there. You seem Satsuki, to have your, 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 you. your design is literally I offensive. For you. Gosh, Satsuki, your design is super offensive. You have much to gain. <sighs> Satsuki. I am Satsuki. I seek a keepsake of my father. Have you seen the sword inscribed, Makoto? I will offer you demon souls if you can help me. Find it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, his his design is actually offensive. Ah, you have found the Makoto, have you? Bless your good fortune and uh, well, good work. His design ah, is stereotypically Makoto over Asian. Here. From a time that, like, was, like, from 1900 or something. Yeah, Satsuki was a pretty anime boy in the original. Yes, yes. This is she. This luster, it's finally mine. <laughs> Could this sword really be as deadly as this? There is only one way to find out. Alright. Because I'm not gonna kill him. I got my trophy already. You guys don't see it, but I did. I got my trophy. <clears throat> yes. Lace has it right. Uh, he is generally made into a racist character caricature in his redesign. Specifically Chinese racist caricature, even though Satsuki is obviously Japanese. So his, his design is actually legitimately offensive. I'm going to maintain white world tendency, so... Uh, he basically shuts off the um, the Arc Stone, which is something they'll do later in Bloodborne. Effectively, he shuts off the the uh, the Arc Stone. If I wanted the Makoto back, which I'll probably do, um, 
I'll kill him. I'd have to make sure I'm done with all White World tendency events in there. <clears throat> Next one. We need to go in... Let's go and see if I have any... The Istarail. Soul of the mind, key to life's ease. 2020. Soul of the that should finish us up with the endurance. Let strength be granted for so basic the leveling. Art thou finished? Yeah, yeah. Thy Let's go get the Istarail. Let me see if I even remember where it is. Hmm. It might be. Not quite sure. It's basically off on the side. Like, uh, the saint's robes. Oh, is it? Hmm. The second one, or the... The one that was always giving me issues. The Ultra Club is what is you can turn it into uh, the butcher's knife. can't say that they didn't wear their masks. I forgot that there was a, a fire guy there. I thought I could take um, take out the... Um, oh, wrong way. Take out the giant and then deal with the, uh, the little ones. Probably. Let me throw them in my bar and then we'll see.
Yeah, they're affected by it. all the slugs on the bottom though. They're pretty cool. Those are leechmongers slugs by the way. It's if you have the time to look around when you're running through here, you can see her slugs. They are definitely affected by this, by the... <laughs> Alright, Isterail, where are you? I do not exactly remember where it is. So I got it a total of one time, and then never again. Right. Let's go up there.
Okay, I got the spear and the trophy. So let's go back and check out where we actually got it. I didn't get to expound on it. So, um, yeah, this is a s <clears throat> hidden location where the Istarel was, and you can probably imagine that this was the last location before the wielder of the Istarel was taken. Um, now, the Istarel. A short spear of hard oak. Essentially, it's made out of the old one. Covered with engravings, this spear is one of the few remaining relics of God. Once belonged to the holy knight Desaya, the divine nature of the spear increases its wielder's resistance to plague and poison. So, yeah, this is, this is made out of the old one, because the old one's a tree. Hi, Loki! Welcome back. My dog wishes he could be a tree. My poor little dog. Yeah, Holy Knight Lysaya probably came with, um, with Vito, and Vito made it further into the valley than she did. We have a White World event for Selen back in 2, right? So... That is indeed the big stinky valley. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings. Loki is currently you, licking me. He's just, just your boy. He asked your little old man. Everybody loves the little old man. Huh, Bubba? Don't need that. What's the matter, huh? Go lay down. You know, you should be eating your food. It has one of your medicines on it. Okay. Now so good, doggy. You okay. Gold. Don't let them take it from you. So we're through all of these archstones except Bulletaria. Alright. We need an oh uh, there's a white world. Ecclesiastical supplies, Maglin. We have to do a white world event here. Poor Papa. Loki, where are you going? Yeah, it's on one. Okay. Yeah, time to free... Free that guy. He doesn't care, though. He just wants to be with his wife.
Hold on, Loki. I'll help you. You don't have to try to climb over me. Give me a second, dog. He still pushed through. y'all later, jerks. Yeah, we were lucky on the elevator. So this appears in White World. It allows you to come across. to get this off of Ridio's corpse. Yeah, the lack of railing is definitely a OSHA very an OSHA vi uh, violation. Take a look at the vista. Wish you were here. XOXO Lynn. I need to go back to the Nexus, even though I'm just bouncing right back to Latria 1. Gotta love these mini gargoyles. And the fog makes sense because, quote, the colorless deep fog, which is basically souls. It also does very well with hiding some of the draw distance issues the PS3 had. wondering about that shiny we missed.
Let's bounce to the Prison of Hope and go unlock our friend. He's been screaming about helping him for like forever in a day, so we might as well do that now. You go down to go up, yep. Um, I like it because it's beautiful, but I don't like it from a lore standpoint. Because it's too beautiful. In the original, she's singing scales off-key. She's one of the torturers of this place. She doesn't really notice, which falls in line with some of From Software's, like, gallows humor. Especially since she's apparently the worst of the Soul Society because she got caught. Oh yeah, there's another White World tendency here. Isn't there? I can get the, the witch hat. Cool. Hey, Fop! What's going on? Kind soul. They've made him very old. Please take this fine piece of work. I have no use for it now. Uh, and thus begins my final eternal rest. He sounds way older than he does in the PS3 one. Uh, and thus begins my final. Eternal rest. Congrats. You're good.
And we can also get this stuff. Interesting that they're dressed in faith armor. When all the people here are not faith armor. Like, this guy is bent over as though he is praying. And this guy is dressed in the Murden set. Like, the Murden set? Yeah. So that's interesting. And this is a unique model. This whole place was a chat. Was a. Let's take a look. I don't know if this is how Yuria looks now in. Um... But yeah, this is definitely a unique model. You can only get this hat in White World Tendency. This is new because the sage robes weren't a thing. until Dark Souls 2, because they're in Dark Souls 2. He probably died to this rat. Probably plagued him and he died. Y'all can stay in there. Let's head back. I think we're done with White World events in here now, too. Yeah, there's no, like, OSHA's got fines to levy at this place. Oh, we're in the wrong floor. I know I'm on the wrong floor, but the noble lady's here. Hi. Oh, it's you. 
Are you looking to purchase something? Oh, she's got black bolts. And shards. And she's a good source of spices. Oh, all right. I wish to stay here, but I need souls to remain sane. As you know, of course. It's a little bit easier to understand her visual design. She's essentially the same. A bit easier to... You guys are dead now because I need to get the claws. one of the more interesting weapons I never really played with in Demon's Souls. Let's see here. What else do we have for White World Tendency events? Mine or the noble ladies? I think you can knock her up so that she can walk. Never really did so. Ridiel is really difficult in black if if you're fighting his black phantom. His black phantom is a jerk. Alright, the other White World event is Stone Fang, and that's in the boss fight, so. We're good for black phantoms. Anyway, white events. All right, let me dump some stuff, grab some stuff, and then... I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings, don't you worry. I feel like I can start knocking off arc demons. uses a rapier as her her weapon right oh you have a it is now time for some fashion like I like the mask because of its MP regen but three corner hat man three corner hat is like super style <laughs> this thing is super styling oh type B so men's only still Oh, the fashion. I love this hat. In in the style of Big Hat Logan, except jaunty. It comes back with Zuli. And Zuli comes with nails, so it's one of my favorite pieces of fashion in Dark Three. Ooh. 
What else do we have for fashion hidden in the box? Hello because again. I'm keeping a close. It's all on the brim, Maglin. I love the brim. The brim is out of sight. Put the duplicates. Actually, no, that's not a duplicate. Put the duplicates away. Oh, am I maxed out in noble lotuses? That's funny. Oh, should I go do go find Selen? I should go find Selen, shouldn't I? Well, we've long Nice stuff, eh? Beyond the swamp, filled with poisonous jellyfish and giant slugs, is a cavern that absorbs all that is unclean, and a shrine of rotten trees erected in honor of a demon. Visitors offer souls to be freed from their notions of suffering. Essentially, Astraya is lobotomizing everybody so that they don't suffer. It doesn't actually solve the problem, but it makes them feel good. Astraya is my favorite villain. I love her. But I feel like I love her for a reason way different than everybody else. Isn't there a thing back here? No. Let's go find Astraya. I forget exactly where she is. So... Somebody can let me know. As we continue looting the shanty town, I know there's another armor set around here that I have not yet gotten.
Oh, did I? Was I poisoned? I was poisoned. I totally forgot. Yeah, oops, <laughs> I totally forgot. And the UI is actually really tiny, so I forget to look up. <laughs> but I can farm age spice off that guy all day. Oh yeah, yeah. This is why Ga um, Selen and and her brother can just stand here and chill. They don't care. They got faith, and faith will set them free. Unlike me, Patches is a uh, um, regen build. He's a regen build. and build the thing, you know. Yeah, he's got Adjudicator Shield. I kind of wonder if Patches comes from that area. And here's the other shaman bit, which I think is still men only. Oh, no. I can put it on now, too, I guess. Uh, this is what Satsuki's wearing, by the way. Used to be men only. Oh yeah, disillusionment with the clergy, that's that's definitely patches in a nutshell. And it's funny to put him up against Astraya, because Astraya is disillusioned for very much the same reasons. But Patches seems to be doing some other stuff. 
My neighbors have really loud music on. I'm really sorry. Gosh. Go up. I'm just looking for selling now, actually. Not over here. I could have sworn she was in Act One of this level. And not over here. <laughs> Just before the town? Okay. There's the shuttle. What's interesting that I can buy now oh, from her? God, I've had enough humiliation for one lifetime. This place, it's a proper heap of rubbish. Oh, out of the world, living or not in yeah. here. My boy, can't for Nothing for you. I... You're here to rid us of her, aren't you? Well, don't show her any mercy. So a lot of people can... For you. I feel like a lot of people... Any pincher. Just let the children... Ignore... Die. Is that it? The filthy woman's warning because... They assume that she's... Got, um... Jealousy issues. And, you know, maybe a little bit, but she's still right. I'm trying to see if I can't spot her from here.
Here's one rocky outcropping. Oh. She got turned already. Oh, sorry, sorry, Selen. Uh, must be because I beat Vito already. Sorry. She asks us to go, um, rescue her. Her brother, because she doesn't... She still doesn't know that Astraya is actually not someone you want to mess with. Oh, it's in my box. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. Really pretty. Very nice. In the Highlands, this dull gold armor is worn by battle by women of high rank. Slightly slows stamina regeneration. She's still around. She's all right. I get to wear her boots. Sweet. Because I looked at the other one, and that's not a thing. We'll go traipsing around the thing later. I've got some stuff to do. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. We have to go get the cat ring anyway. Don't need the shaman stuff because it is men's only. Um, maybe. You have a heart of gold. We ha I actually have not done Boletaria 2. We've only done Boletaria 1. I kind of like doing all the other ones and then just shotgunning Boletaria. Last. Um, alright. Let's go traipse around Act 1. Actually... We should we should be buying things. It's better than having you both on us. <clears throat> be careful how you use it. Also because this or my secondary might end up being the platinum character, so I'm not sure which so I'm just going to start dumping stuff into s stuff.
The cat ring's around here, so I need to go get it and, uh... Astraya is a uh, blue blood sword and something else. Goodness, my neighbors. Okay, that's done. Let's go get cat ring. Oh, I went too far up. Never mind. We're going this way. This is essentially a YOLO, but... Yeah, you've got to go into NG triple, triple plus, to get platinum. Dark Moon Grass, there's the Black Phantom. She's over there. Loki, what are you doing? Hmm? She can run around in here, so, uh, she'll probably kick my butt. She's actually really tough. send an email to the vet. Poor Marcus. I might have to kill the stream because of the neighbors, though. So we'll do this one more attempt at like just gathering it stuff. And then I guess uh, if the neighbors are not being cooperative, then we'll kill the stream. I don't need to be copyright struck for any of this stuff. I don't know how much of it's coming through. Oh, you guys are not getting anything?
that's actually a bit of a relief. focused on the guy and I noticed I was almost dead. Whoops. But you also got the broken sword, which you need for the blue blood sword. Which is good that there's one like right here to remind you. Blue blood sword. Is my cat ring. Dang it, I was still in wake up frames, but oh well, I got my cat ring, so that's good. We've got the important bit. Yeah, Mad Lady of the Swamp is the true justice of the valley. Indeed, Venetia. So you're certain I can still, um, catch Sullen? We'll give it a shot. And note, all the shaman have faint stones, so they are faithful. They believed in the grift that Astraya was selling.
See, that outcropping is actually nothing. There's Mosquito Central. That's the exit over there. Which big torch? Oh, there she is. Thanks, Venetia. Why? You are one of the sane ones, are you not? I am Selen of the West. I seek my brother, Gal Vinland. The knight who accompanied Saint Astria on her travels. I believe they settled here. If you happen to see my younger brother, please tell me. I must share with him the last words of our father. I heard an unflattering rumor about Saint Astria. It's true. It was that herb peddler. She believes that Astraea is herself a demon. She has no reason to lie, but surely she must be mistaken. She's not. She's not. I find something odd about this place. It brims with grime, but at once feels strangely pure. I find something odd about this place. It brims with grime, but at once feels strangely pure. All right, I think we're done out here. Do I have any more? Yes. Why do I have to grunt to, like, use my archstone sword? Okay. We're here. Back again. Uh, we've done Selen stuff. We got Selen's garbs. Um. It's three and a half hours. <laughs> so, I guess that's time anyway. Tomorrow, this is a three-day weekend for Americans. So tomorrow, we're going to start knocking off arc bosses. And then we'll do Bulletaria. So, until tomorrow, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me and spending your afternoon with me. It's great having you here. Bye, everybody.